All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to another lecture with Coding with Roby. And in this video, we are going to solve the problem of remove duplicates from a sorted array. All right, so let's read through the problem. Given an integer array, nums, sorted in non-decreasing order, remove the duplicates and place such that each unique element appears only once. The relative order of the elements should be kept the same. Since it is impossible to change the length of the array in some languages, you must instead have the result be placed in the first part of the array nums. More formally, if there are k elements after removing the duplicates, then the first k elements of nums should hold the final result. It does not matter what you leave beyond the first k elements. Return k after placing the final result in the first k slots of nums. All right, so let's look at this. Now, this is a key part of this problem. Do not allocate extra space for another array. You must do this by modifying the input array in place with O1 extra memory, which means we have to be sorting this array that's currently getting passed in, which is nums. We're not able just to create a new array and return that array. All right, so let's look at the examples. If we have an input of one, one, two, then our output should be two and nums should equal one and two. And they have an example of an underscore, but really that's just to make sure that that spot is empty because you cannot remove spaces of an array in some languages. And we're going to be doing this in Java, so this is exactly what we need to do. We can also see a bigger example of 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and we just remove all of the duplicates. All right, so this is kind of a challenging problem because you need to only be able to modify this nums, but it's not much code. It's more of having to think through the problem. So very first thing we need to do is check the length of nums. We need to create a guard clause. If nums is equal to zero, then we want to return zero. All right, and now I'm gonna create two integers, integer x, which is equal to zero, and integer y, which is equal to one. And I could also do this by saying like comma y equals one, but I'm just making it on two separate lines just for readability. All right, and now the first thing I'm gonna do is create a while loop. And inside this while loop, I wanna say while y is less than nums.length. So while y is less than nums.length, we're gonna be incrementing y up We want to say if nums of y plus plus is not equal to nums of x, all right, so we're going through, if it does equal this, then we just skip over what's inside. However, if it does not equal, well, now we need to do something. We need to shift all of the elements over. So let's go ahead and just say nums plus plus x equals nums y minus one. All right, so what we're doing, again, we're looping through the array if y++ plus plus is not equal to nums of x. So if they are not equal to one another, then we wanna say plus plus x equals nums of y of one. So we are shifting all of the elements, and then when we find a match, we remove that element and shift the rest. Now we just need to return x. Well, X is gonna be one element short, and that's because we didn't get to loop through it one more time. So let's go ahead and say X plus one. Let's run the application, and boom, we can see that the output, the expected based on our input matches. Let's go ahead and submit it. And boom, we can see that this is 72.05% faster than other Java online submissions. So congratulations, we were able to solve this problem, a easy problem in LeetCode. And I'll see you in the next video where we go over a new problem.